Right, so what we're doing here is ignition timing. Now we know from the flywheel on our previous videos where we've got the two marks. You've got your diamond mark and your little dot. Now the dot we do as your static timing and now we need to adjust it to the diamond. Now the diamond is your before top dead center. So what we've got here, old school timing light. So we've got that clips onto number one lead. Every time a spark goes down number one, or number one has been told to spark, that sends a signal to that, and that lights up. Power on there, plug that. Now what we're looking for is we can't see very well, because as we know, there's not much room down these. So we're looking in the gearbox hole, down in there. And what we're looking for is that diamond to line up with the arrow on the gearbox. So what I'll do, I've already adjusted it, um, so I'll just start the engine and I'll try and film what the strobe is doing what we're looking at. If it's not lined up with the diamond, what you do is undo your Allen keys and move your distributor clockwise or anti-clockwise until the um, diamond lines up with the the arrow on the bell housing. So once the engine's warm, it's when you're doing this. So what I'll do, I'll try and get the camera in position and film what we're actually looking at. Right, now the engine's at 6 degrees before top to centre, I'll just do a quick diagram and explain for those who don't know what we're on about when we're saying before and after top dead centre. So, flat line up top, there we have TDC, that is top dead centre. Now what we're aiming to find, with all the ignition timing, is MBT, maximum brake torque, which is the maximum pressure we can achieve in the cylinder in order to force the piston down the cylinder, turning the crank, turning the wheels, giving us torque. So what we've got, this is TDC, this is the piston going up. So I'm going to talk more about system pressures, but you'll understand it will come sort of it should make sense. So this one here, that's just your engine turning over, basic compression, not being not sparking. Now what we have is now that we're going to call let's call that so we're going to call that three degrees after top dead center so the spark and the combustion cycle is happening here three degrees past top dead center and that is our peak pressure our peak cylinder pressure so what we want is ideally something like that so that line across there that is where we're achieving our peak cylinder pressure which then that in turn gives us our the, the maximum brake torque, the maximum you're going to achieve from that cylinder. You're not going to get any more than that. Any more than that is going to be a detrimental effect, as in that peak point there is going to shift before top dead centre. Now, if that happens, if our spark point happens before, and the, all the ignition happens before the piston has gone past TDC, the piston is going to try and be forced down, and that's where you're going to start to get engine pinking. And the pinking is a noise that happens in this area where the explosion happens and the piston is still moving forward. Now this again is what we're aiming for so we'll call that six degrees before top dead center and how we achieve that I'll do same same principle TDC before top dead center, after top dead center. So we want to achieve our peak cylinder efficiency. So we want to achieve our top point there. So what we need to do, imagine this is a clock going round and you've got zero degrees there. Then you've got six degrees before and six degrees after. 
Now the engine takes time for the piston to travel up the ball There, crankshaft, piston, rod. So as the piston's going up, that's the wrong way, but as the piston's going up block, the, there's a delay period between all the electrics saying spark and the spark happening in the cylinder. And what you want to try and do is get that at the right point where the piston is just going past TDC. So if we say the piston has just just gone past the point it is now any other further movement is down the ball that's when we want the spark to cause the ignition now this is your period so six degrees six degrees of crank rotation before top dead center so the, the electric side is gonna be told to make spark at six degrees before because it will take that period there those six degrees to get to TDC and then everything will happen our ignition will happen and by the time it's gone bang the piston again is that this little arrow just and that's an axe an axe hair whisker past TDC and then it goes down So that in principle is a simple way of this cylinder pressures, this is what we're trying to achieve, the maximum pressure in the cylinder to give us our maximum brake torque. And this is what we're trying to do with that, is get the ignition point to start six degrees before top dead centre. So by the time the piston has gone those six degrees, our ignition cycle happens. Now if you do it, if you've got it six degrees after top dead centre, the piston is already six degrees past coming back down the cylinder so you've got imagine again you've got your cylinder yeah cylinder head um, terrible right this is your piston that's the that's your gap you've got your valves there and you've got your spark plug sticking through spark 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 now this area in there say the piston is now at TDC that's the maximum area that can be compressed your fuel and air so it's gone past TDC just cut just a bit and then it goes firing down now if we're looking your timing is set to six degrees after top dead center this gap can move down to there so you've got that extra area that is not being compressed because the pistons already moved down so you've got the mixture again the fuel and air mixture is not going to change it's the spark point so you've got all that fuel and air mixture which would perfectly fill up that area to give our maximum pressure and our power stroke. But as you are past TDC, the pistons would be moving down the cylinder. So you've got wasted area there, which means that is going to be a weaker explosion, which means you're not going to have as much force pushing that cylinder down. So hopefully that's given you some idea of when we're talking about six degrees before top dead center, etc. etc. You can move more. But we do it basically at six degrees, any more than that. You can do more, you can go up to eight, ten, whatever, it depends on the engine performance and how it's working. But any more than six, ideally you want to be on a rolling road. So you can, maybe you could change it to eight and then you'll do a rolling road run, see what the engine's performing. Is it performing better or worse? If it's performing better, maybe push it up to nine. If it's performing worse, move it down to seven and so forth. So that's the timing of an engine the basic your auto cycle your firing points that's that's where hopefully it'll make some small sense so just testing out the fan works lovely